I think people today are leading in an environment where they're required to lead a different generation of people. And these people care about different things. Uh, typically, they're better educated, they're better informed, they're better connected uh, than they were a generation ago. And as a consequence, they have much greater expectations, both of the businesses they work for and of the leaders that they follow. And leaders, therefore, need a new set of skills, uh, an ability to uh, come out from behind a persona, from behind title, from behind authority, uh, with tactics and strategies designed to manipulate behavior. And instead, uh, their key challenge is how to inspire this generation of young people, I think, to engage with the vision of the business, to take full responsibility, uh, to own those responsibilities, uh, and then to innovate, uh, to take initiative, uh, and importantly, to collaborate well with other people. Uh, leaders who have these skills, which are grounded in a person's capacity to manage their emotional experience and those social skills, do extraordinarily well, I think, at motivating and engaging um, the workforce today. Great. I think what we know about how you change people's behavior um, in any system is essentially you need two insights. One is uh, they require insight. So I think you need to provide people with a very resonant why, why this matters, why it's important, um, followed by what, what are some of the hindrances to me being able to step up to that. And I think um, emotional intelligence, when you measure the building blocks of it, provides um, a backstage pass, really, uh, that helps us uncover some of the uh, psychological and emotional mechanisms that either sabotage people or encourage people's performance. So the insight piece is important. The second tactic you need is um, essentially strategy or tactic which means, okay, this is the how piece. How do I actually do this now? And that's often, I think, what's missing in training programs. We get inspired with um, you know, what can be achieved. We believe fundamentally in the values that uh, drive behavior. But then the application, uh, the how piece is what's missing. What we know from psychology is there are at least seven factors that in any training program you need to um, include that are going to maximize the opportunity for people to achieve success. And it begins with benchmarking uh, and engaging people, it then you know, providing feedback, uh, helping people set their goals so that it's, it's driven by self-directed behavior, self-discovery. It's then modeling behavior. Um, it's then inoculating people against setbacks, providing that they've got resources to go to, uh, and then evaluating constantly through every step of the program so that people, a bit like going to the gym, they're constantly looking in a mirror and they're seeing progress which becomes self-reinforcing and consolidates the learning uh, that's taking place. And uh, systematically we do this inside an organization and over the course of three to six months you really begin to see a shift um, in the culture and the climate and the performance of the business.